Have you ever wished you could have doodly draw two things at the same time? Well, you know that it's easy with GIFs. You can have a doodly hand drawing text or a character at the same time a GIF is playing. You can import GIFs from online sites or even create GIFs yourself using PowerPoint or Apple's Keynote program. And, of course, you can bring your doodly videos into PowerPoint, Keynote, or any video editor. Guess what? You can make GIFs out of your very own doodly scenes and create videos that look like doodly is drawing two things at the same time. Let's begin the tutorial with creating a simple GIF in PowerPoint. The movie I'll Convert comes from pixabay.com. Here's a free one that'll work. Pulling it into PowerPoint or even Apple's Keynote program makes it easy to convert a movie to a GIF. Make a note of how long the video is because it will determine how long to make your scene in Doodly. A couple of quick setting changes, especially the delay to start the movie. I want the soccer field background showing when the doodly text starts before the ball comes in. Happy with the settings? Just choose Export from the file menu. Choose a name, pick Animated GIF, and in this case a slightly lower resolution so it won't slow doodly down as much. Click Export and notice the exporting progress bar to know when the process is done. One thing I'd like you to note is that the Pixabay video filled the widescreen format in PowerPoint. That won't be the case in Doodly. Now, head there and import the GIF as a new prop. Notice that for this tutorial, I've titled all associated assets with the beginning word dual. Searching that later will make things easy to find. See that Doodly brings in the GIF in a smaller size than it was created. You could keep it small and build your doodly around it, or use the GIF as a background. Let's try that. I'm going to change a few settings. I've found that these sizes and positions are perfect for filling the screen. I don't want the GIF to draw or to loop more than once because the scene is as long as the soccer ball animation. The GIF has to be first in the layers column or else it will cover anything that comes in before it. That's why planning timings before creating a GIF is important. I'll just fling in some text and set their timings to fill the 10 seconds of the original video, preview, and either add more scenes or export my video at a suitable setting. Now let's attempt to create our very own animation for a GIF. Here's what I want to achieve. Again, PowerPoint and Keynote are perfect simple platforms, and a free PNG graphic like a soccer ball can't be beat. Start again in PowerPoint or Keynote. Pull in the soccer ball PNG, change the size and position, then set parameters for the soccer ball animation. Create a path for the ball's bounce. The path can be edited with a right click. Choose how long it takes for the ball to do its thing, and set any delay needed if Doodly will draw first. Set an exit animation to Spinner with a bunch of repeats, all going very fast. So the ball spins as it moves. I chose counterclockwise. Do an export in GIF format at high resolution. Pull that into your Doodly and add characters and text. Remember, if you want a background for the scene, you'd have to create it with the PowerPoint animation because everything drawn later in Doodly is in front of your GIF. Would you like to know how I changed Anne's picture in one scene while the GIF was running? It's really easy. Let's go back to Doodly and find out. I'll demonstrate this without the GIF in. First thing I did was pull in the three Anne poses and size them the same. Earlier, I had created a white rectangle PNG 
in PowerPoint. So I'll put that on the canvas, set it to fade in, and to 50% opaque for now. Put the rectangle over Anne number one and size it to cover her. Copy and paste it. Move Anne number two in position and cover her with a properly sized rectangle. Move Anne number three into position. Move the first rectangle into the layer list to follow behind Anne number one. Move the second rectangle in the list to follow Anne number two. You'll have to experiment to get the timings right, but be sure all characters after the first one don't draw in and that the rectangles have a short fade in time. And the last thing, Anne? Preview, save, export. Thank you for watching.